Yes, uh, howdy all. It is Thursday, February 16th, uh, another round of the IPFS Implementer Sync where various implementers and folks who care deeply about IPFS implementations gather. Um, so thank, thanks all for uh, showing up. I know we haven't met for a couple of weeks. We juggled things around some of PL meetings that, or PL Android meetings that happened at this time, but so thanks for the flexibility. Uh, I posted into Zoom chat the, the link um, where the meeting notes are. And yeah, so with that, feel free to, you know, it's not required, but feel free to drop your down your name down on the attendees list and I'll just share screen so people can see where I'm where I'm working here. Um, and yeah, uh, if there's any other agenda, we have some agenda items here. If there's other things that come to mind you want to add, please feel free to. And also if there's just anything you want to share about, but you don't need to take up airtime, feel free to put that in the notes. Um, and yeah, I know I said a question already came in about Rhea. So let's I'll put that there on the list. And I guess with that, we'll we'll jump in, but feel free to be or, you know changing things here as we talk. I'll, I'll take the first couple. Um, uh, yeah, on, on the Kubo side, just you know, not not major, but the 018.1 release shipped. This was largely you know, one of our main drivers for getting that shipped was to help unblock, sorry, unblock ceramic for some work that they're doing with regarding ETH Denver. So some pub sub changes made it made their way through Go to the P2P and into, into Kubo, and that unblocks some of their work. So uh, that that's out, and then we've got another RC coming here this next uh, on, on Thursday. We're trying very hard to stick to the five week release um, cadence. So the, the, this this next week will be a test of how strong our conviction is. We'll see on that one. Um, and then you know Helia, the JavaScript implementation that we are working on to kind of replace JSIPFS. Uh, there's a lot more that needs to be done here from a community management and, and informing people regard. Uh, the, you can not, not the great way to just get a bite size understanding of what's going on, but we, you, Alex Pudsitis, who's aching brain, who's leading that uh, effort, did a good demo a couple of weeks ago, and we have another one coming on Monday kind of showing progress. But it, like I said, admittedly, it's it is not the clearest cut as to how someone can come in and contribute and be involved and like definitely want to correct that but i'm acknowledging that's where it is at the moment and then uh ria i guess i'll i'll start and then lytle can maybe fill in ga gaps that i that i have so ria is a you know i guess internal to pl andres effort to work uh to get uh, IPFS.io gateway, which is you know run and ex uh, paid for by uh, the PL's engineering research group, to have that traffic be um, backed by the Filecoin Saturn network. Um, so right now, IPFS.io gateway is infrastructure run on Equinix. It uses Kubo. Um, you know that's what the way it has been for multiple years. And this is a push towards you know, getting real production traffic onto Saturn and push on uh breaking up different parts of kubo and some of the ipfs stack so that it, we can you know i guess be a little little bit more modular and get some of the api changes etc that we want in um or that would be good for the overall uh you know, health of ipfs so there's more we'll probably share on that down below because some it, this is affecting as i think brandon called out earlier this is driving some ipips to come up and certainly some of the work that's happening in uh, in Kubo, um, but at a high level, that's that's the goal of that project. And I will make sure we have those docs public if they aren't, um, and get those posted in the notes afterwards, um, because this is not intended to be a secret. But it is a case of people are moving very fast on this. You know, there is a goal to, you know, the current state of goal is to complete, to have 100% traffic switched over to Saturn um, by the end of March. Obviously, that we're not going to do that at the compromise of performance and availability. So we don't have the the first milestone is completing tomorrow, or maybe not going live until Monday, where we'll see the end to end flow. Um, we all know that that at least that initial milestone, the performance is going to be abysmal. We just don't know how bad it will be, and that may very well cause timelines to change. But the the stated goal that many people are marching towards is to get this all done and working and have performance and availability par by the end of March. So that's why you're seeing anyone watching from the outside is probably seeing a lot of hustle here. Anything key you think I missed on that one, Lytle? Uh, no, I, I just like dropped uh, my item from the from later mm. uh, under this because it's fairly topical. Uh, what does it mean from people who maybe not care about public gateway run by protocol labs, but care about actually running their own IPFS nodes? Uh, or their own gateway. So the 
as part of this work is extracting the code that's doing the gateway things, implementing gateway spec in Kubo. We are ex we've extracted that to a separate library. It lives in Goli by PFS slash gateway. And we created uh, for now two examples how you can just expose the gateway interface without running full node. Uh, one example is uh, a car gateway. You have a car with snapshot of your website. There's no lip P2P, no networking IO. Uh, you host a static snapshot of content address data and you expose the entire gateway interface for that. You can fetch it in the serialized version. You can fetch it as block or a car. Um, examples are there for that. Uh, that's just like a proof of concept that you we correctly extracted the thing. Um, and what it means for people building, uh, well, the API may change. So we just extracted it from Kubo and we are still in the process of cleaning up the programmatic interface of go ipfs slash gateway so i'd say maybe like look at examples but don't be surprised if the interface in go changes because we want to we already like limited the surface most of the kubo internals were not necessary for uh, operating a gateway uh currently it's you need just like a abstraction for getting blocks and resolving paths uh, more or less, and that's all you need. So you can build something way simpler than Kubo um, with this library. Uh, and we may have, uh, next time we meet, uh, maybe like a more fleshed out example of a gateway which delegates. Uh, there's an already example of a proxy uh, gateway which uh, does not have local block store, but fetches block from a remote gateway using the block by block uh, HTTPN interface. We may have something more advanced, uh, more production ready next time uh, we talk as a part of the RIA. Um, RIA will be consuming Saturn, but our goal is for people to be able to like, run their own IPFS cluster and point uh, a very small binary uh, and have like a gateway backed by their own cluster for self-hosting cases. Uh, so more or less, a uh, bunch of uh, work related to RIA will be reusable outside of protocol labs or outside of Saturn context. So, um, but there will be about uh, there's there there will be some noise and breakage related to extraction because one we are moving things between repos. We are trying to preserve history of commits and contributions, but also we want to. When we have to change something, we are paying off technical debt. Uh, so be patient with us. Uh, we apologize if we broke your uh, thing that relies on seven years old uh, interface. Uh, but we promise there will be like a path forward. Uh, for now, it's fine to stay on older version before the dust settles a little bit. So that's kind of like for wider audience, I think. Thanks, Lytle. That That was great. Not that there has to be, uh, but Brandon, is there anything um, from the number zero side releases or announcements that you want to make? Again, not required, but just want to make sure you guys have airtime as well. Well, totally. Um, nothing as of yet. We've had some internal stuff that we'll be uh, sort of demoing or not demoing, uh, going forth with, but like uh, the big sort of TLDR on that is like Iro is going to be taking in a bit of a new direction in terms of its uh, limitation status. And we'll, we'll update everybody on that in the coming weeks. We'll talk through some of that as we go. But we're not, we're not our ducks in a row to talk about it yet. It's not because it's secret, just because we want to make sure a clear <laughs> mechanism or a clear sort of announcement. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be uh, fun to chat about. Beyond that, no, we don't, have, we don't have a ton going on. We've had some like nice, nice progress in terms of IRO support for stuff. We've been talking with the CERN folks a bunch, a little bit about um, using IRO for, I think, some of their work. So it's fun to see some of this rust. I'm sorry, it's it's nice to see this kind of come full circle. Where, ah, that's why somebody was in our conversations asking about PubSub exposed in IRO, and so maybe some of this is actually working the way it's intended to be. Um, so cool bits, but no, nothing major to announce. Cool. Okay. Th thanks. Thanks, Brennan. I think we will bring it back to Lytle, our IPIP IP extraordinaire facilitator. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll uh, share my screen. Yeah, One go second. for it. All right. All right. Too many screens. 
maybe this one. Okay, it's a good one. Um, okay, uh, I won't be like clicking and opening things. I will give you like a quick uh, overview of things. Uh, you can always go to IPFS project board to see the status of things that recently landed. Uh, we merged uh, IPIPs and specs for things that were uh, waiting for Kubo 18. Um, so uh, JSON, CBOR responses. Um, we hope to ship IPNS, uh, like signed uh, IPNS record responses in Kubo 19. Uh, that also means it will be part of that library now because we are making changes to the library and Kubo just happens to consume the library. So everyone using that library will also get a reference implementation of those IPIPs because usually people write reference implementation against that. Um, so uh, IPIPs here uh, are mostly waiting for a review or from people who are interested. And I'll give you a quick brief introduction of each, like one, uh, getting signed record from a public gateway that's, uh, uh, an effort to have fully end-to-end -end, uh, verifiable uh, light clients. You fetch data, you verify hashes and signatures yourself. You don't need to trust Gateway. So that closes the gap for a muta mutable namespace. You will be able to verify that as well. Uh, the remaining two are part, uh, are follow-ups to the work we did uh, uh, recently with uh, Interplanetary Network Indexer. Uh, Ability to delegate uh, some lookups, uh, be that to indexer or to the DHT caching proxy over HTTP. Like you are light client, or maybe you are building infrastructure that is uh, decomposing things. Uh, instead of having single Kubo, you may want to run different services on different machines and scale them uh, using different strategies. Uh, having uh, ability to delegate uh, routing request over HTTP uh, it's a functional gap. Currently, the only way you can do that is through the proprietary API uh, from Kubo RPC. Those PRs aim to create vendor agnostic API uh, for one, uh, routing IPNS names. And the second one is for uh, directly announcing uh, your uh, data you have uh, to the indexer. So instead of indexer having to uh, crawl or listen on the HT, uh, people be, uh, having to have DHT client, there will be ability to directly put to the network indexer. Uh, but they are all part of the bigger family uh, under uh, the slash routing v1 namespace that we are trying to create. The idea is that that's like vendor agnostic. Everyone who implements that uh, can provide a routing endpoint. And whatever implementation is behind that, that's up to you. Could be indexer, could be maybe experimental accelerated DHT client that's faster than whatever Kubo is doing. Um, so that's uh, the idea is that people have a single interface. We don't have uh, uh, competing uh, APIs doing the same thing. Uh, and the last one, the double hash uh, DHT spec, it's also IP, but I forgot to change the, uh, the title. Um, it's uh, a, probably the biggest one of them. Uh, it is a way to introduce uh, some aspects of re reader privacy and uh, more resiliency uh, to existing DHT. Currently, you announce CADs you have in clear text. You say, I'm this peer ID under this IP, and I have the, those CADs. And when people look for those CADs, they say, I want to see who has the CADs. Everything happens in the uh, open. Uh, but in some uh, setups, people may want to have uh, more privacy and not shout their browsing history to everyone on the DHT. So this is a proposal to address that. Um, and uh, I hope uh, after the initial uh, review, we, we may have an uh, original author on this call uh, to maybe like tell more about a specific threat uh, uh, model and uh, types of attacks that it's addressing. But I believe it's also included on the spec. So. Uh, kind of the thing uh, I wanted to uh, raise to this group. And something I just added, uh, request for comments. I know IRO was in the process or was planning to implement IPNS uh, 
lookups and validation. Uh, so that sounds like a timely uh, moment to mention that. We are uh, still in this precarious moment when we are publishing hybrid records, which are both V1 and V2. Uh, we validate only V2 signatures, but we still require all those like redundant fields for V1 to be present. And if you don't include them, even though they are not used uh, for signature V2, uh, the record is not considered valid. Uh, so this is like a plan to move beyond that, kind of like decrease the size of records over time, especially if you have a setup where you control both client and server. You don't need that backwards compatibility with fire, five year old nodes. And maybe it's fine to have lean, just uh, mostly Cbor based uh, records. So, uh, so that's a uh, there's no IPP yet. Uh, it's request for comments, but if there are no concerns, we'll most likely create IPP when the time allows. And same thing uh, for the UnixFS reboot spec. Uh, it, it, we are a bit busy with other things uh, around uh, restructuring how our gateway works, but uh, uh, it's awaiting for reviews, especially from people who had to implement something related to UnixFS. Uh, at some point, we'll uh, circle back to this and uh, uh, and push it over the final uh, final line. But I think uh, mm, for now, uh, UnixFS spec will be around for people to comment on. And I believe that's it. Sorry for <laughs> the usual <laughs> stream of consciousness, but I think uh, this is a useful moment to bring uh, wh whatever is uh, new in uh, in those uh, IPIPs and specs. Thank, thanks a lot, Lytle. Um, I guess one, one thing I'll also say the for the double hashing DHT spec. I know there's been some chat here. Um, this has gotten some more airtime in the content routing working group, which usually meets on Tuesday, which is in, in Luma, and that's probably a good place to continue to go deeper on it. Um, and also to be clear, that you know the driver of that effort has been. Yom works on the Pro Engine Andres ProLab team with Giannis, uh, but I, it's also been a collaborative effort with uh, Chainsafe. They've been some of the main uh, implementers and evaluators of that work. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'd say on that one. But any any questions on anything Lytle was just saying? And also, is there any? Well, I guess we should start there. Any questions on anything Lytle just brought up? No, thanks for the update, Lytle. It's appreciated. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a question, but I want to say thanks, Lytle. All your feedback on the IPIPs for Mossy have been really helpful. So thank you. Good, good stuff. And is there other, is there any IPIPs that weren't mentioned here that people are kind of angling for or surprised weren't brought up or you want to make sure get airtime later on in, or likely in March? No, this is plenty. <laughs> okay, I just want to work on time. <laughs> completely agree. Just wanted to yeah. <laughs> make sure we're off. Okay. Um, cool. I think we'll bump out of the IPIP project corner. Um, real minor. I personally have been kind of out of the loop, but dropped into the IPFS implementers channel today to like, you know, put a post that we have this meeting and then saw there was like a lot of messages going by by not the usual or not necessarily implementer focused conversation. Um, I, I didn't get to read it deeply to get a sense of what was going on there. I guess I didn't know if anyone was had a particular sense of do we need to add more, you know, moderation or kind of read only by default view to that channel. If it's not an issue, I don't want to I don't want to create something. But if if it's impairing people's effectiveness, I'm happy to know about it and see what we can do about it. Uh, I believe like usually the spam comes from uh, Matrix uh, Gateway because it's more prone to abuse. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, like through uh, through the matrix the bridge. bridge. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I I'd say like if folks see that, uh, try and if you don't have matrix, maybe like just create it for the situation like this because it's useful to report it from the matrix side. Um, so that makes their uh, abuse uh, detection better. Because if we we can delete it on Slack. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, then the matrix uh, does not know it's happening on the end. Uh, I, 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 yeah, if you don't have uh, permission, I believe, then reach out and we can. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely know how to get permission. And there's uh, there's a 
like we, we've got a public guide on like how the IPFS matrix home servers set up and like how you report spam. Again, I, I'm not saying that's all airtight, but I, that's all that's there in place. I just, I didn't know if people had a conviction of like, Hey, we need to take some action here. There's a lot of non-implementer conversation happening. Um, if it's, if it's tolerable and we are just going to let it see where things lie, that, that, that's fine. But if, if someone has been hoping that there'd be action taken, I just wanted to get a pulse on that here. Oh, you mean like uh, the noise to signal ratio, not yeah. the actual uh, crypto spam, but because that also happens. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess I, I, it seemed like the person was actually IPFS related in some of their conversation. It wasn't just, okay. uh, yeah, crypto spam. Yeah, th those are usually removed very fast. So I, I thought you meant that and, and matrix yeah. is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it seemed like there's I, I, just some more questions that are coming in, which are like general support or help. Oh, OK. Or yeah. In that case, uh, historically, I believe uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Norman, who's not uh, here today, but he's been. Uh, we usually like ask people to either add, ask on the this uh, not lobby, but uh, IPFS chatter channel or ask on uh, uh, on forums every time we see off topic. Mm -hmm. Don't answer, but just. Yeah. Um, because if we, we don't uh, don't do that, people think it's fine. Uh yeah. Cool. Yeah, I guess I saw it just seemed like there was a decent amount of chat there. There it wasn't getting uh a response from any of us. And so uh, but I, I haven't read all the way through it to get a sense of whether it was uh, you know, appropriate or on topic or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if if no if no one has a conviction here, I guess we'll just We'll wait till one of us does get back through it, or we can deal with the next occurrence. Yeah, I mean, just as a data point, Steve, I've totally written off this channel, and I'm just scrolling through it now and find that I was justified in doing so. Um, I don't know; it's it's definitely not it's below a noise threshold at mm. this point for me, but that's okay. Mainly because I have the luxury of knowing all of you <laughs> and some people reach out when, when, I, uh, when there's something that needs attention but I don't know <laughs> the, it's, the channel's labeled IPFS implementers and this is a lot of non-implementer discussion I don't know I think this is a uh, it would be yeah. awesome to see some of this directed away but whatever that's 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 energy and time on somebody's part <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was, I think there were times here where we had, you know, it was, it wasn't getting a lot of traction, but it was very I, implementers uh, focused. So I think the, the signal was high, but there also just wasn't a lot of signal. Um, now, totally. now it's just no, noise has come in. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to solve the moderation problem uh, in this call, but you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's nice to try. <laughs> I appreciate you bringing it up, Steve. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. I guess we'll that, uh, let that one live. And then I guess the other thing I just wanted to bring up is the IPFS thing website is is there. I believe it's getting some more updates and it'll be more like publicly announced tomorrow, um, if, I, if I understand correctly. Um, but, you know, the dates and the location are all fixed. I don't know if we talked about that in this meeting. So like the event is happening. Um, I, I believe many, most all folks on this call will be there. Um, plus, we're hoping many others as as well. So, anyway, just, just passing that on, but that's probably not any new news to anyone here. And that that brings us to the to the end. Did anyone have anything else they wanted to bring up? No, nope, just uh, I dropped a link to the section of our IPIP for um, double hashing for the IPNI that we did for threat modeling. Just hide high level description of the threat model that we leveraged for justifying the effort on our side. Uh, I'll drop that in the notes as well. Cool. Okay. Thank, thanks, Dorvin. That'd be great. Yeah. Anyone have anything else? This is great. Thanks for the okay. update. Everybody. All right. I will, uh, I will end the recording and